Uh, hello. Uh, I saw a lot of you like uh, uh, you wanted to to do like uh, uh like this. When you're falling, uh, uh, the character automatically grabs the ledge and move on to the other ledge. Right now, uh, the project is like, uh, is like this. Right now. It is like this. Character just goes without grabbing the lead, and it's not really realistic. Uh, so uh, I'll I'll show you how to do it, and uh, hope you 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 can make something better out of your project. Okay, first, uh, let's go inside uh, the character VP, uh, and then we'll go inside uh, where the jump is, and uh, you will see uh, this is our original system, and uh, you will see this function. This is where it is handled. The the traversal uh, uh, traversal function. So you double click on it. You will see normally you will have only three uh, up to three pin. You add uh, a four pin and then you move it down. It will look like uh, this and then you just scrap a branch you get a reference to your character which will be in your local variable here uh this one because this one i think is not in yeah it's not in uh not reference uh, it's not set uh this one is set uh you get the you get the character movement and then you get the is falling and after that uh, you uh, the normal uh, grabbing uh, traversal uh, uh, trace that uh, the character makes you put it on the force and then you duplicate uh, the whole here everything here you duplicate it you put it up there and then you plug it in the true and um, for testing you just um, remove these you just put uh, for duration or one frame and then you put the draw time to like five seconds and then you will be able to draw for me what i have uh, seen that works best is you will see this this is not reference i don't know uh, how they do that but don't touch this one um just remove it on here on this one and uh, put 50. I, I 50 is pretty realistic i've been uh, experiencing with it and it's uh much more uh, realistic right now and uh, you leave everything as it is and just compile and save and go to back to your character and uh, you just um, copy this and uh, you go to your event tick here uh, on your event tick you just um, put a sequence 
and uh, you press S on your keyboard to get the sequence or you just right click and then type sequence you will get the sequence here and uh, on the Zen one you grab a branch you get your character component which is here and then you type is falling which is a, a an already made building uh, function here and then you put it in a branch and you put it in the Zen one and out of true you just paste uh, what you have copied here uh, or to here and then for the trace forward you just put 50 like uh, the other one this is for debugging only I was debugging for the crouching and uh, uh, yeah basically for the crouching replication and all this stuff so um, as, as you will see here it is grabbing the ledge and it's not like uh, it was before Replicated. Uh, I send server here, and As you can see so if uh, you have any question let me know and uh, I'll continue to add more to the project and if you want to follow more tutorial let me know what you want to what you want to add and I'll do my best to add it to the project thank you